Hey, welcome back everyone to another video. Um, so I do have another American padlock for us today. Before we get into this video, um, I'll tell you why I'm going to pick another one. Um, but real quick, the weekly giveaways will be um, announced starting in my next video, which will be probably Friday. Um, if not Friday, Saturday, and then we'll go a week from whichever of those two days I start with. Um, so just for example, say we're giving away an American, I'd say I announce it Friday. Um, you just have to be subscribed and then you have seven days, as does everyone else, to comment whatever the giveaway would be. So, you know, for example, it would be an American lock. I'll let you know I got you added. Seven days later, um, I'll randomly draw a winner. Um, if you want, I'll ship it to you free of cost. If you didn't win, it's alright. There's going to be another giveaway announced at the end of that video. And then you will have seven days again to, for everybody to enter in that one. And then so forth. It'll just keep going like that every week. A lot of you have already given me more ideas on top of all the ideas I have. If you have any ideas, you can email them. My email is in the description. Or you can comment them. Comment as many um, different ones as you want. Don't worry about, you know, anything. Just comment different things and that way we'll always have something. Maybe once a month it'll be like something more on the higher end side. Like, for example, um, maybe a high security lock or like a $90 tubular South Lord 7 or 8 pin tubular pick. You know, they, they're like 96 bucks or something a piece. Um, if they're cheap giveaway items that you guys, you know, want where that I feel would be a good giveaway item, maybe that's when we'll have two or three winners for that week just because of the cost um, and whatnot. And also, if you see somebody comment something you were going to say, also, I want you to comment it because then when I see more than one person had said the same thing, then I know that draws interest in that particular item and then that will, um, I'll notice that and then that can be an item that one or two things can happen either a I can get it um, to be a giveaway item um, sooner like you know make that now instead of later down the road um, or actually two more things or B um, I can do multiple giveaways in one week um, depending on cost maybe have two or three winners or three that could be a reoccurring item that you know maybe if we did it this month, you know, and I, I know a lot of people had interest in it, maybe sometime in the next month and a half or something, we'd throw it back into one of the weeks just because it's a it's a, a sought after item by a lot of you. So, you know, definitely just say it regardless if anybody else has commented it because then, like I said, just because of all those reasons. So anyway, um, I got a vintage American padlock here. Um definitely want to pick this I know we pick a lot of Americans on this channel when I first got security pins down these you know I, I, I busted through the spool pins out of nowhere it took me so long to be able to figure it out like I watched video after video I read books and didn't make no fucking sense and then one day I bought a sp not a spool I bought a quick set deadbolt that was on clearance at Walmart for five bucks brand new instead of 15 bucks or 14 whatever it was went home picked it figured out eh, you know I, I was very new still in the picking um, didn't have a lot of locks cool you know um, I had picked a quick set before but all of a sudden I got what I thought was a false set and then it just clicked I was like okay so now I got a false set and then when I started going on my next binding pin I saw the counter rotation and I was like whoa and then you know I ended up getting it picked and when I gutted it there were two spools in it and ever since that moment I have been on a roll and then when I hit American locks <clears throat> it fucked me all up it stopped me because the light tension the serrations the serrated key pins the serrated spools the 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 bidding on them and it, it threw me off of my whole entire picking game so um ever since I've been able to get them a lot of my videos you know you guys have seen I've got I get them pretty quick usually sometimes not though sometimes they take a good five ten minutes as I have other videos that show that so um, they are a favorite for me um, for the medium security locks you know that's what I classify these as um, they're definitely not high security they're not low security though so they're medium security um, in my opinion that's how I'd rate them um, as padlock you know what I mean um, like this American 700 series nice solid body yeah, that's especially some of the the more expensive Americans like the seven 
84, I think it is, or is it 748? I think it's the 748. Ooh, six pin, you can have two bypass wafers, so even the, the, the bypass tool won't work, the, the puncture bypass tool won't work. Um, it's going to take a lot of effort to destructively get in there and pick in it if you, you know, get a nice bidding on that key. It, it should be nice and tough, so. But still, it is still beatable, but definitely offers more protection than a, a regular master padlock or, you know, a Brinks. Eh, some Brinks can be kind of tough, but you, you get the picture. So anyway, um, that's why I want to pick this one. This um, American, it's a vintage, meaning that it's one of their older ones. This is before they became part of master lock um, company. Um, you can see the logo here on the padlock. I'm sure a lot of you have either had these in the past, maybe have them or have seen them. You can just see the old logo here. Um, the date on the back um, works out to be, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's October 1988. But the Q stands for October and then G and G both represent the number 8. So that would be October 88. So that will be what is this this will be 29 years old next month 29 years old that's crazy somebody took good care of this lock it's in great condition so i'm curious to see what's inside of it you know I, i'm sure it's going to be either an aptc 12 or aptc 14 cylinder um but even the keys have the old logo on them which is just kind of neat um like i said it's not going to be anything special but this is the first vintage or, you know, original, I guess you would say, American lock or padlock that I've ever got the chance to, to work with because all of them have had this logo and they've all had this new box, which specifically says a division of Master Lock Company, Milwaukee, whereas this is what the, uh, the, the brass one I have right now came in. And it does not say anything about Master Lock, and it just says Illinois, so instead of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So <clears throat> I'm going to put the 700 series to the side. There is the newer logo, and the reason I have so many new ones is because obviously these are what are going around most more in circulation. Um, I would love to find a vintage one that you know somebody never used, like completely brand new. Um, so that's going to be my next school just to find a couple of those um actually i think i just passed up one that was a 5200 and then there's a 5300 which i have both of those and you know i have both of those they're just the newer version so <clears throat> all right so since we're at eight minutes god i'm sorry guys I, I just try and and be informative i don't mean to just waste your time um this key bidding eh, it's not the greatest in the world let me zoom back in one more time um but you got eh, not really yeah, you got three high cuts in the front and then two low in the back so that's not really going to create a problem um if these two back cuts were in the front then yeah it would they're not that steep you know that that big of a difference between the lows and the highs so even if they were in the front it would cause maybe a very very slight inconvenience i wouldn't even call it a problem um this is rekeyable um like I said, for almost being 30 years old, this is in pretty good condition. This is the solid brass um, series. Um, the lock works great. I guess there's no spring tension because that, not sure if you noticed that, but when I unlocked it, you don't hear that, st eh, kind of came up. Somebody recently oiled this because there's, there's still oil on, you can see it on the inside of that shackle where the ball bearing fits. And there are ball bearings in here. So, um, that's good. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this thing picked, gutted, and see what happens. See how different it picks. Um, even though it's probably going to be very identical, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what could be different. Probably nothing. I'm probably just hoping that it'll be a little bit unique. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. But I also got another lock. God, I struggled between which one I wanted to do a video of today. Because the other one, I think I've seen it one other time in stores. But I, I, I can't remember. We'll talk about that in the next video. That's actually going to be my next video. So, all right.
So, get you guys angled in here. And I am going to use my 18 thousandths of an inch Peterson um, short hook, hook number one. Um, and I'm going to use my 50 thousandths tension wrench top of the keyway. And I am going to try and get this thing picked for us. So here we go. <clears throat> Without wasting any more time. I'm sorry. Okay. Always use the light tension. On Americans. Uh, this thing is not one to um, <clears throat> give me any binders, so I'm going to try and go in here real quick with, with a hook number three and reset. Um, it's hard to explain what's going on because of the serrations. Um, you know, there's going to be serrated driver pins. The question is if there's going to be serrated spool pins, but you know. Okay, there goes one. God, man, these things can be overset real easy too. The uh, serrated driver pins.
thing is definitely putting up more of a fight than I gave it credit for. And that's what you want though. Jeez. Problem is I'm having a really tough time finding binding pins, feeling them. And one of the reasons is, is because they're all sitting so close together. Or like, not so close together, but the, the cuts are so similar that I may be oversetting those driver pins. Oh, there it is. All right. Sorry about that, guys. That was definitely went in there with the um the uh the diamond and was able to. It helps um feel a little bit better for me personally whenever my cuts are are very close like that um in cuts or when the cuts are very close and um depth like that. Because it'll help me differentiate, tell the difference, be I can't say the word I'm trying to say, tell the difference between which pin is which. And with the, the serrated driver pins, you know, they can click multiple times. So just because you hear a click doesn't mean that pin's set. And then you go on looking for the next pin, and that pin's still bound because it's, you know, caught on a serration. And then you can usually feel when you overset, like, the, the clicking is a very distinct noise. Um, and then... It'll kind of sound like a very half faint click and when I overset at least and then it's like well damn now I gotta let up on the tension and let that come back down. Hopefully I don't reset the rest of it. That's why I wasn't really explaining anything. Um, basically all there is for Americans is light tension and then you just have to you know be very familiar with um, serrated pins and like I just said that's one of the biggest problems is oversetting um, and knowing you know there are like smaller size this doesn't really pertain to americans but um there are different length um you know let me show you real quick since i'm gonna tell you yes. but there are different length um drivers as there are key pins and some of them like this one Zoom in here. That only has two serrations on it because of the length of the, the, the driver pin itself. So, can you see that? I don't know if you, oh. Whereas, some of the, the other ones, since they are longer, they have an extra serration cut into them because they have more room on the on the pin so like I said that doesn't really pertain to Americans but um so you know the you can't just say oh I know there's this many clicks on on American because you know it may sound like a normal click when you overset you know but for me I don't know I've kind of noticed that it's a little quieter quieter of a sound when I overset like it'll still make a click but it, I can tell it's like a sound like it went up, you know, too far above the shear line. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get this bad boy gutted. It was definitely a fun pick. Um, probably one of the Americans 
in a while that has given me I don't know how long that took I'm gonna say seven seven minutes or so um maybe not that long I don't know I know we're at 20 minutes so I'm gonna try and wrap this up but you guys know me um the ones who don't want to watch long videos you guys don't um the majority of you like it I try and, I, I don't I feel like this one probably wasn't at, as informative but I've talked about Americans on a lot of videos late tension um just really got to be patient with it you just want to go easy take your time feel for your binding pin you know I just kind of go back and forth without picking until I'm using my finger like to represent the key all the key pins and you know as soon as I feel you know something giving me a little bit of resistance you know I'll kind of move my my pick around that resistance until I can you know feel that I'm actually I've actually placed the the key pin on the tip of my hook and you know with the right tension I lift up and when I hear a good click or depending on what type of rotation the lock may give me um you know as far as um if there's um spool pins in it and whatnot oh no we dropped something but um you know there's just a cu key couple things that I look for um but it's hard to describe what I'm doing in there especially when I couldn't feel the binders you know it it that was definitely more of a challenge than I, I, I thought. I was like, eh, this one's not going to be easy because of the bidding. But I was wrong, which is good. That's that's a good challenge, or that's a good thing to have. You know, I want a challenge when I pick locks. So, also, quick note, if you have these American, or American, if you have these Sparrows mini mats, um, I'm going to buy a bigger one, but I like these little ones too. And mine get all dirty because of all the brass that, you know, you, when you're picking cylinders and rekeying them and whatnot, these little um, fragments, the, the powder, like it's a fine, you know, chippings and shit from the cylinders and locks, gets all stained in here. I just put it in some hot soapy water and took an old toothbrush and just scrubbed it, took 30 seconds and it looks like it's brand new. That's why I just blew, you know, I had some some metal flakes fall in here just now and I wanted to get that out so I don't know quick tip um so let's go ahead and see what we got this was the American 5560 series and use my it's still in unlocked position Hopefully, oh, we don't lock it back up and we can use what my boy sent me. And look at, man, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. I use it all the time. And I have not forgot about you if you're watching this. I, okay, maybe I did tonight. Um, I did have time to look for a six pin lock for you, but I got you. Don't worry. I have been, just, it's been crazy. Um, but we'll talk about that later on an email. But I just wanted you to know, I have not forgotten about you. So, I am going to use a shim. And... So, I figured this is what the case was going to be. That was only a five pin key. I don't know if I showed you guys, but it has the uh, their order logo on there instead of the new one. So I like that. I don't know. It's kind of, I like little shit like that. But um, it is an APTC 12 cylinder, meaning it's drilled for all six. All six holes are drilled, but it only comes pinned up to a five pin key with five pins. Um, you could, in theory, because I do this all the time, put your key in there and just... Um, you don't have to get a six pin key. You can find a pin that will ride on on the very end of your um on the very end of your the tip of your key and hold on my TV just unpaused itself. So I'm gonna just mute it. Alright. I'm not gonna restart this video just because of that. Um <laughs> But you can also get a six pin key um, if you want it to be more, you know, proper. Um,
because that's not a, an actual cut so you're just going to have to find the right size um, key pin that would fit perfectly and be flush with the the, the top of the, your core um, or like I said you can just get your six um, get a six pin key so my first key pin fell out when the TV turned on it scared me it was on pause I was trying to watch this TV show, but the memory gets filled so quick. So anyway, let's see what we got. Key pin one has no serrations on it, but it's because it's a very small size. Key pin two, serrated key pin. Key pin three, serrated. Key pin four, serrated. And key pin five, also serrated. Just for any of the newer guys out there, or gals, um, kind of want to show you real quick what the serrated looks like. Um, in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, there are serrations on your key pins, as you can see. Um, those two indentations, you know, those two cuts on the top of the key pin, which, you know, do make it a little harder to pick the lock. Um, you know, they, they represent what a, what a serrated driver pin would do take our shim out and let's see what we got up top and then god I'm sorry guys 30 minutes um okay we got one driver pin one is serrated just plain serrated driver pin two is also just a plain serrated well not plain you know just not a serrated spool so driver pin three is also a serrated driver pin four Also a serrated driver pin, so five is gonna be one too. It has to be. I didn't get no false set either, so um and five is also a serrated driver pin. And again, in case there are any newer pickers, let me pick this up and show you. So there is a serrated driver pin. You can see all those serrations on it, which you'll hear click, and you may think you got the lock you know that particular pin picked but really just got caught on a serration um so yeah definitely the, so the, these make americans more challenging the serrated spools personally in my opinion make picking americans easier because the false set is a good indication of where you're at when you're picking the lock it's you know it but generally you know you're gonna pick your non-security pins first and then your spools are usually what are left and then I've noticed that pattern with Americans. The the serrated that are right here will get picked first, and then you'll go into your false set. And then you know, depending on how many spools are actually in there, but that's usually what's left. So you know, you, you know, when you see counter rotation, it, it it's almost makes it easier because you you know, you feel counter rotation. Boom, pick it, goes forward again. Find the next spool. You know, you you. You see that it's your tension not just starting to go counter so you got your counter rotation you pick it and then it goes forward one more time and or whatever the case is because you don't know how many of what are in there till after you get it open but I personally think you know it's like a it's like a guide point like hey you made it this far and you know but anyway I'm sorry this video was so long just try to explain things and give tell you about giveaways and try to you know well that did take a good seven minutes to pick or so but um that was definitely a little bit more challenging of an American, you know, just sometimes they turn out to be like that. The age could have had factor. I'm sure these may be original pins, so maybe, you know, I'll, I'll, there's a lot of things that contribute into why sometimes it can be picked in a couple seconds versus that um, seven minute time, especially, you know, when you have experience with Americans like I do. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I hope you guys are really enjoying the channel. Um, I see a lot of more people being interactive in the comments and with each other and with me and, you know, helping each other out. So, you know, that's what this is all about, man. Um, giveaway item will be in the next video. Um, I'll try not to make it this long again. I'm sorry, guys. I really do apologize. But I hope somebody learned something. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.